Hey guys, it's Olivia, and I'm, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this super cute taco charm. Um, the bands that you will need are these, like, um, yellows, and you'll need 21 for, for them to make the taco shell. Some green for the lettuce, two reds for the salsa, and, um, eight bands um, for the meat in your taco. So let's get started. The materials you will need are any type of loom and a hook. Okay, so the first step is you're going to make your loom face away from you. So your arrow facing away. And so we're going to start with double bands for the meat and you're going to put it on the right side like that. Okay, then you're going to take double bands of your meat color again and place it going diagonally into the center. And do that again like that. Then you're going to take one band of your green and one band of your red so it looks like lettuce and salsa and place it right here like that like that okay then take two green and place it right above your um your red and green bands like that, and then do a red and green band, bands again, place them like that. Now it's time to make the shell. Okay, for the shell, you're going to take double of your shell color bands and put them right here and go up four times. So, two. three, and four. Okay, then we're going to start on the bottom for the shell. So you're gonna take double bands and place them and do the same thing except instead of only going up four, we're gonna go up five. So that counts as two. Three, four, and five. Just like that. Okay, once you're done with that, you're going to take two green bands for the lettuce one more time and go diagonally like that. And then you're going to take two more of your meat color bands and place them right there. Then you're going to take <clears throat> one of your meat color bands and wrap it around this peg three times. Okay, for this taco, you're going to need to make three triangles. So we're going to put a triangle right here, a triangle right below it, and another triangle underneath that, like that. Okay, so now you can go ahead and flip your loom over. So, it's like that. And now we can start the hooking process. So you're gonna take your hook and you're going to go inside this cap band and grab the top two rubber bands. And go and loop them straight to the right. Then go inside and grab the top two rubber bands, which should be your lettuce rubber bands. And hook them to this peg. Sorry guys, I had to do that off camera. I just needed to 
get that green rubber band on my hook. I can't, couldn't seem to get it on there. Okay, so then you're going to grab the bottom two rubber bands and hook them all the way up and stop right here. Okay, after that's done, you're going to go inside these bands, grab your two meat color bands, and go to the left and hook them diagonally. Then we can start to hook the middle. And when you hook the middle, you're going to hook all the way up to here, right there, and then go diagonal like that. In case you didn't know what I meant by looping them diagonally, you're going to go inside these, these bands, grab the bottom two meat color bands, and hook them to the left like that. Okay, so now it's time to hook the left side of your taco. So you're going to go inside these meat color bands, grab these bottom two shell color bands and hook them forward. And then hook them, hook all the way up and stop here. Okay, once you're done with that, it's time to make the slip knot. So you're going to go inside all of these bands and grab the bottom two bands and hook them forward. For those of you who don't know how to make a slip knot, I'm going to teach you today. So you're going to grab these bottom two bands right here, pull them up and over the peg like that, and let go. Grab onto these bands, give it a little tug and see how it's right there, it's getting tighter. Okay. Now it's time to remove the taco off your leg. Okay, so this is how my taco turned out today. So those are my two tacos, and I hope you liked this video. So don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe, and leave a comment in case you have any suggestions for me to teach you how to make something for Rainbow Loom. Okay, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!